Hello everybody and welcome back to Worst Games Ever. It's the show where we play terrible video games sent in by you. What's up? I'm Dick Machinko. Oh, uh, news flash, I'm Brian Bumpus. Hi Brian, how's it going? It's going pretty good, how's it going with you? Yeah, 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 you know what. All that Excited to, to play a very terrible game, I suppose. Yeah. Well, you will be playing a terrible game this week slash Fortnite because you are this week slash Fortnite's games victim. <gasps> and that, Brian, means that you will be bringing along the terrible game and some science facts so we can learn while we, while we play uh. as the game's master. Oh. Do you know, I mean, do you want to know what game you'll be playing this week? I suppose I should. I suppose I should. Uh, sa saddle up and mm. uh, ju jump on board of the back of the horse because you'll be playing Lucinda Green's Equestrian Challenge. Oh. It's not just anyone's Equestrian Challenge. Good. Yeah. It's Lucinda Green. Are we even allowed to play it? I don't know, actually. Yeah, we need to get her permission. We do. This feels like a personal attack, this one. It's like you've looked through all of our worst games and thought, what is the worst one to play? Well, the reason I chose this is because most of the other good ones left over are movie adaptations. And I think the right. past three or four games that you or Ben have played uh, have been movie games. So I thought, you know what? Let's have a horse game as well. Brilliant. I can't wait. Oh... Oh, Red Mile, Dead Man Walking the Red Mile. Oh, oh, that's not uh, nice. It's Ugh. a bit Bioshocky, a bit spooky. That a bit gross. <gasps> Whoa! Oh, Underwear. it's rendered. Oh, look at her go! Oh, oh. oh. Wow, was, was that really her? Fast, wasn't it? I was think that so. That was Lucinda. Lucinda Green. We didn't get a chance. Lucinda, Lucinda, Lucinda come back. Can we play? Oh, she's gone. Um, I would like to also save. Learned this lesson the hard way a few times on this show. Yeah. Insertion no, of a memory card beyond this point no. may call. Oh, I've never seen that warning before. It's weird. Oh, oh, here we are. Oh, oh, oh. oh do we get to colour in the horse like oh, that? Oh, I that hope so. Nice. Look at the little swoosh on the queue of equestrian. Do do. <laughs> equestrian. <laughs> this um, this music sounds like um, what's his name? Tommy. Tom. No. Uh, the the ones from uh. The Garden Man, what's he called? Hello? Uh, Garden Boy. Bill and Ben? No, no, not children's television, very much Okey adults' doke. television. Oh, no. um, Monty Don. No, who? Gardener's uh, World. Not Tommy. Gardener's... Tom... Mm, I'm the, probably getting... Tommy's one of them, he was in Ground Force. The Garden Man, changing... No, not changing rooms. Not changing rooms, <laughs> that was a different one. Gardner, uh, no, not Gardener's, I just said Gardener's World. You remember Ground Force? Ground Force. Da, 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 that one, yeah? Yeah. With the theme song, and there was Tommy, who was the big guy. Right. There was, there was the woman, Charlie. Yeah. Who was the other one? Was it Alan Titmarsh. Oh, Alan Titmarsh. Titmarsh, yeah. Titmarsh. Oh, look at that house. That's very sweet cottage. That's where Alan lives. What I was desperately trying to say there is that this is this music is when Alan's walking through a garden saying, oh, look at the lovely garden. Isn't it? Yeah. I mean, it, it, to be fair, it sounds a bit like um, the, the looped music that was playing during Charlotte's Web that we played. Oh, God. It probably is royalty day. free, but... Brian, I fought so hard to remember that reference. You've got to let me have this. We went the on Alan a whole game. tour of British TV there, didn't we? So, let me hit you with a fact. Um, yeah, yeah. Lucinda Green's Equestrian Challenge is a 2006 sports video game by 
Australia developer, it says. Not Australian. Australian. These, are, these people developed Australia, seemingly. Uh, by Australia developer, IR Gurus Interactive. Gurus. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's Gurus. I didn't, re didn't recognize the word Gurus there. <laughs> Gurus. IR Gurus Interactive <laughs> and published by Red Mile Entertainment for PS2 and Microsoft Windows. Wow. Um, Magical. Uh, can I get your opinion on this? Because of the way we've got our emulator set up, if we set it to 16 by 9, it doesn't change the aspect ratio, but it does mm. give us more stuff on screen. Oh, does it? Wait, go back. Well, you sort see? of, yeah, by stretching the... <laughs> That's well, weird. Well, 4 by 3 4 by three is the default. 16 by 9, get more on screen, look. Yeah, it's very strange when you change um, aspect ratios within an emulator because it doesn't... It doesn't do what you would expect it to do. It's like when you no, need a screen adjust thing on a PS1 game and it just sort of... <laughs> yeah, just move just... it around. Yeah. Right, yeah, very create a new odd. rider. Here we go. Profile one. Oh, we can sure. up to four profiles if you... Oh, oh I don't like... Go. I don't like... Oh, the that's the worse. faces! What, what is the... <laughs> Hello? He looks, he looks like he's just discovered a fetish he didn't realise he had. He's like, oh, 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 baked beans. Oh, don't mind if I do. We're very, very lucky to be doing what we're doing. Nationality, please say this doesn't change their appearance. Okay. Oh, yeah, that would be troubling, wouldn't it? Which one is the least worst? I don't know. Actually, I do. I, I think he might be the worst, but I do like him the best. Well, did the music just cut out? Yeah, it did. We're talking to, to plain... Wow, how many different hair colours would you like? Three? Oh, it's come back. The music's back. <laughs> Those are icy. <laughs> He's a white walker. <laughs> he is. He is. I like that. That's a good look. It's mm -hmm. it's it's not a good look, to be clear. This guy looks like often voted biggest asshole of gaming or top five. Um, oh, I've forgotten his name now. Was it L Lewis? No, not. It might have been Lewis. Who? The guy from Tony Hawk's Underground is quite infamously considered oh, okay. an absolute dick. Uh, no, Eric. I'll buy you out for half a mil right now. I got my checkbook. Lucinda Green's Equestrian Challenge is an equestrian game based on the sport of three-day horse eventing. The game features show jumping, cross-country events, and dressage, if you want to <laughs> be mispronouncing about this. Dim... Dim... Dimopus. Dimopus. Some sort of Greek... Uh, legend. Yeah. Dimopus. It means master of the horses. Dimopus 69. 69. There we go. Or oh, you could put BS if you want on the oh. end there. Bus. I think you should Death put it on at point. least normal and have to do manual you jumping. Yeah. Oh, God, yeah. okay. Do you want to create... Are you sure you want <laughs> you to bring sure? this life this into the world? This is your last chance to... You can back out at any moment. You don't have to do this. He's ready, look. I got my checkbook. <laughs> Hello, I'm oh. Lucinda Green. Hi, Lucinda. Hello. Can we, Lucinda, can we have your permission to play the game, please? I've been impressed with your riding. Oh. And I think that with the proper training and preparation, Mentor welcome. we'll soon be ready for competitive eventing. Competitive, competitive eventing. eventing. The game is named after Lucinda Green, a six-time badminton horse trials winner. Now, that's an event I'd like to see. So, badminton horse trials. <laughs> I'm assuming, logically, that that is the sport <laughs> badminton played at the same time as riding a horse. I, I'm assuming the horses play badminton. Um, I believe it's horse trials in the town of badminton. Um, yes. Uh, so she's a six-time badminton horse trials winner who also serves as in-game mentor. Um, I can now bring up, although we did have a tiny grainy pixelated photo of her there when she was saying, hello, you're very good hello. at horse riding. Um, yes. I'll bring up a, uh, a Wikimedia photo that we can legally use on this video um, with citation. It is the most unflattering picture I have ever seen on Wikipedia. Really? Um, I mean, you, you've seen these images that get put on people's on celebrities wikipedia pages but you're expecting like a really nice headshot and then yeah but those are all not good yeah they have to get a license for this so they don't so instead they have some really grainy phone photo that someone took at a red carpet event from about mm -hmm. 200 yards away and scaled up um and hers is well, it's not one of those because she doesn't. I don't think she goes to many red carpet events. But yeah, she's just sort of standing there, not ready for them to press the shutter button. Right. 
Sounds good. Quarter marks. Oh. Eight. Oh yeah, oh. you can shave patterns into the. Oh horse. yeah, the umbrella <laughs> logo. Stick that on there. <laughs> Fantastic. Bio bio horsed. So I see you've made yourself the greyest horse to go with your icy yeah. blue eyes. And she's a giant as well, a giant horse. Mm -hmm. How do I do a space? What's BS? That's backspace? Maybe there is no space. Brilliant. Um, underscore. Underscore. <laughs> <laughs> Barbara Horse. Barbara Horse. Where is it? Me and eh. There we go. No! Oh, no. Barbara Hawes. Barbara Hawes. It'll, that's it. <laughs> that's her. The game has spoken. I leveled all of my horses up to max level trust. Yeah. That's why I'm so successful. Speed governs how fast your horse can gallop. Gallop. This is important for cross country, where you want to complete the course as quickly as possible. Oh, okay. thanks for Jumping is your horse's jumping ability. A low jumping score means that your horse will be more likely to knock down a pole in the show. A pole? Pole. More likely to knock down... We're being very, we're being very rude about this. We video, are. But it's just fun to... It's fun to talk like that, I think. It's hard not to. I can't imagine the quality of life that she leads. <laughs> yeah. The wealth that she presumably has. Mm -hmm. The food that I imagine she eats. The 400-year-old house that she probably lives in. Yes. The friends she's made with Alan Titch Titmarsh. Titmarsh. And several people who are in positions of power in the UK government. I think you mean par. Par. I beg your pardon. I've not, I've not been listening, but uh, just speed, just right? Just the fastest horse. Just really quick. Can I make a bad at other things? <laughs> oh, no, I can't remove Oh, stuff. can't you? Yeah, if, I don't want the horse to trust me at all. And I want it to jump really high and run really fast. Right. It won't run for very long, but it'll get there quick. It'll knock down all the poles as fast as humanly, as horsenly possible. <laughs> the player begins as a young rider at the two-star level, who is taken under the wing of Lucinda Green, one of the world's most accomplished event riders, who trains them and their horse to reach three and four-star competitive events. Ooh. Um, I can only imagine that it only goes up to four stars in the horsing world, but I'm not sure. <laughs> Course around the back that takes it's turning into like the Sims build mode music. Yeah, it is actually. Look at the, the, oh, look at the frame they rate are on those. Really nice butterflies. Leaves slash butterflies. But if they're butterflies, there's a lot of them. Later on, you'll need more than one horse. The stables are where you can choose a new one. Imagine, imagine being the sort of person who needs more than one horse. Oh man, maybe even retire one of your horses as well, so you get more horses, and you, you and then you kill one of them. Yeah, right? you have to go into town and buy a gun to retire your horse. Is that this how is it works? Room. Don't forget the dressage judges are influenced by your appearance, so it's not enough well, just to ride. Whoa, horses. that's a bit shallow, isn't it? What if is I'm really true? good at horses, but I wear trackies? What's the problem? It's quite the office. That's news to me, that when competing in dressage, which is the, that one where it's all about how you, like, pace your horse and control it. So you, they make you, like, walk it from A to B and then, like, gallop it from B to C and then canter it. You know, it's all about, like, stopping on a dime and stuff. Yeah. I didn't know that they also rated you on your appearance. It's pretty Jeez. rubbish, isn't it? I suppose it being called dressage maybe implies some kind of shallow beauty contest aspect to it but i never really considered that yeah to be honest should we feed and care for the horse oh definitely press x to pat good horse good horse yeah pat it right in the eyeball good horse you're a good horse oh, it's, it's got fairy dust the competitive events of this game take place at officially licensed event Whoa. locations uh, Adelaide, Kentucky, Badminton, and Burley. Burley. Hey, Bale. Hey, Bale. <laughs> Feed hay to your horse. Am I involved in this, or do I just watch it eat hay in the you background? Just watch its ass. There was the hay was already there. Yeah. Oh, oh. What, oh, what? What am I? It's coming back. Are you... Is this just telling you that it's eating? Oh. There we go. Oh no! no you pressed no, it again. No. It's gonna get fat. Come back. Why am I? Why am I allowed to move the... I don't understand. Okay. Uh, again, I just... Oh, God. It's just It just does it. Now you've got to do its appearance. Are you going to brush it? Oh, can't you can't. brush it. Do you not can't have a give brush? give it carrots. No carrots. I'll give it a wash. Can't wash it. Not much oh. of a... Jeez, can Lucinda not lend you a brush? 
Fly repellent. Well, we can do this, so. Good horse. A good horse. Hey, you're a good boy. Good boy. Good boy. I believe this game actually, I don't have the fact here, but I'm pretty sure this game supports Train two players. So, wow. You can have some split screen horse horsing around, a bit of horse play. I expect to see you here often to prepare for each competitive event. You need to prove to me that you're. Okay, all right, Lucinda, I guess. Lucinda strikes me as the sort of person who, she knows her stuff, hmm. but if, if she was in charge of teaching you how to horse, she yeah. would be not a cruel mistress, but she, she would push you very hard and while you're in a, a lesson situation she would be kind of mean to you and you'd be like yeah, I think flipping be hate straight. yeah just very strict and then afterwards she'd be like well done I'm very proud of you you did really well today because that's how I was taught darling yes like, right you were bullied yes yeah. and I turned out fine okay my teacher wasn't averse to a riding crop across the wrists <laughs> great great sounds Sounds like a labor violation, but okay. Yeah. Uh, the timing panel shows your progress through the event. I don't care about that. You know, I'm just going to press. I'm, no, I'm just going to press the jump. So, you know, I'm just going to press the <gasps> Whoa, the music. Speed up. This, the fastest possible horse. My controller is vibrating like crazy. Is it? Circle to jump. Why are you going so slowly? I don't know. I don't know. Do you have to tap it. Oh. No, oh, it's refusing. Yes. Yes. Does it oh, turn for me? Work. It doesn't turn for me. No. Lucin is just watching from the sidelines like, what the hell are you doing? Going as, oh, going doing fast as job. flip, boy. It slows down when I've got to jump. So it's not like, uh, this is a big one here. It's a big one here. It's a big one here. It's a double. big one. Whoa. Great job. It's the vibration is so intense. Please, Barbara. Oh no! Horse. It's because it doesn't trust you. Well, the target time was not beaten. Look at us. What a duo! I hope there was enough there. Replay. That's perfect thumbnail material. Cinematic chase orbit. Oh wow! TV. Yes. Look at this. Magnet. Oh. Whoa. POV horse, horse cam. cam. <laughs> no. Thrilling viewing. Come on. This is still the TV cut. Whoa. Oh, yeah. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> the camera even looked to the left because it thought that's where you were going to be. That's turning. where he's got to go, right? There we go. There's, oh, you can God. take a nice thumbnail photo there. Continue. Flip the neck. <laughs> wow, it's going well. I feel good in my training so far. It's going very well. At the four-star level, the player must compete against some of the world's top riders, including... And there is now a massive list of featured riders in this game, okay. all of whom I'm sure you will have heard of. Yes. Polly Stockton, Mary mm. King, Philip Dutton, William Fox Pitt, Andreas Dabowski, Wendy Schaefer, Caroline Powell, Jan Thompson slash Binny... Binny... Sure. Uh, I don't know. Maybe that's a Welsh surname, but it's got a, it's got a slash in it, a forward slash, which oh. is very odd. Okay. Um, Andrew Scott, Megan Jones, Dirk Schrader, Clayton Fredericks, Karen O'Connor, Nick Gowlett, Darren Chia Chia, mm -hmm. uh, and started, David O'Connor. Wow. I mispronounced some of those. Those are all the all the horse men and women. This is going to be a rhythm action game, I think. Oh, okay. This is dressage. I don't yeah, care. I don't care. Like I don't care. Oh, it's okay. a true rhythm action game and that you've got a, an actual... Salute. Oh. Oh. Oh, it plays music. Oh, God. I, I can't react fast enough. It tells you what's coming up, look. I'm assuming the action on screen is riveting. What on earth is this? <laughs> oh, God. Excellent times, too. Has Barbara Horse found her calling, do you think? I think so. Oh, I'm loving the musical confirmation <laughs> sounds when you <laughs> hit the button. <laughs> it's bad, isn't it? <laughs> I like to imagine the judge... Well, not that there are judges in this situation, but when you go out into the, the wild world to compete in this, that they all sit and just listen to the sort of... <laughs> Slightly offbeat music. <laughs> the controller, it, it's hurting my hands. Like, it just stopped vibrating for a second there, and I've got 
I've got like pins and needles in my fingers now. <laughs> Dressage training incomplete. Oh no, that this was is... not good enough. The the level of quality she demands is is so unreal. <laughs> Look at it go. Well, you'll never become a Lucinda Green if you don't. Oh, a salute. Did a little nod to the judges there. Yeah. Cross country. Maybe we'll go outside. That'd be nice. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be good. We use some of that speed. Before we get started, I need to tell you a few things. I need you to tell the countryside code. Please close gates behind you. Yes. Pick up fowl after your dog and horse. Imagine if you had to clean up after your horse. That'd be awful. Oh, man. And awkwardly say hello to any bypassers who will undoubtedly be very rude to you. Hmm. I've literally had that happen before. Say hello and someone's just gone, hmm. It's like, wow. It depends what part of the country you're in, I think, partly. Um, I found that when we were in Bristol, nobody said hello ever. And I don't just mean in the street. Like, I wouldn't say hello to someone in the street. But occasionally, if my family were visiting, we'd go, like, just slightly outside of the city and go, Mm. like, to a, 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 a dog walking, like a forest or something where people walk their dogs. And where we're from... It's almost a, the law that if you, especially if you've got a dog, that seems to yeah. be even more of a requirement. But if you've got a dog, you say hello to each other. It's just what you do. And saying hello to dog walkers in Bristol is like, it's like saying hello to someone on the tube in London. <laughs> oh, f- f- flipping heck. Sorry, that just, I was just so relaxed. <laughs> and then it just ended. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, you're right. If you're out walking in the woods, you do normally say hello to people. Yeah. It's just polite, isn't it? It's just what you do. The horse panel shows your horse's condition, inc- including its stamina and trust. Oh, okay. can you can your horse die if you just well, absolutely welly it? And one, only one way to find out. Speed up. Gallop. Oh, bad bad. Oh. Come on, come on. Jump over that picnic bench. We're off. Stamina good. Gallop. My mum's side of the family is, uh, they, they've been a bit horsey in their time. Have they? Um, Long snouts and tails and that. Absolutely, yeah. Hooves. A flipping Just tractor here. Jump Jesus. a tractor. It's broken. There's a wheel off it. Uh, so I believe they even personally know one of the people on that list. Oh, uh, wow. Or have met him several yeah. times, competed event- in events uh, against them. Um, Do they know Lucinda? I don't know if they'll, they might do. They might have, I, it wouldn't surprise me if they met Lucinda. At hello, darling. That, I, hello. I imagine that's just how she says hello to everyone. Darling. Yeah. Darling. Horse is tired. Look, it's sleeping, practically. <laughs> Come on. What does our what, jump look? What the hell does that mean? Oh, that was a big jump that we oh. went straight through. Are we going to finish in time? Oh, my, you might. Where's the finish line? Where is it? We've got nearly be. Yes. Oh. I think Fantastic. we did it. Fantastic. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Right. Even faster. That's the that's the trick learned there. Now you need to show me that you're dressed. Oh god, okay, we need to do dress our program. Fantastic. Uh Transmission uh, Games uh was is the now now what IR gurus are called. Uh, that's yeah. the developer of this game. Transmission games have worked almost exclusively on sports games and flight sims, including Heroes over Europe, Heat Seeker, and yeah. Heroes of the Pacific. Those are the flight sim games, uh, as well as the likes of Gaelic Games Hurling. Excellent. Gaelic Games Football. No. Oh, come on. Gaelic Games Football Two. Yeah. Um, six AFL Live titles and the Saddle Club Willowbrook Stables. Right. Um, so quite the pedigree in the sports world. Sounds good. Sounds yeah. like they've they've really come into their own, so to speak. Mm -hmm. Right, come on. Um, Red Mile Entertainment Inc., the publisher, were involved in Jackass the Game. Brilliant. Lots of people love that one. Oh, please. It's just going around that corner. It won't do it. Um, Krusty Demons. (laughs) I'm sorry. Krusty Demons. Krusty Demons. I didn't even look that up, actually. I want to find out what that is. Uh, Grip Shift and several of uh, the IR Gurus titles that I just mentioned as well, some of those sports games they yeah. published. Oh, um, flipping stupid horse. Yeah. Do you literally just not have enough trust that you'll never be able to get over We're going to have to put this horse down, I think. That's the only answer. Oh, Krusty Demons is a like a motocross game, weirdly. Okay, that's weird. Yeah. Right, come on. 
I've, I'm mashing the circle button when it prompts me to, and it's not jumping it. Come on. This one's a, a little less harsh, and also gives me a little bit of slow-mo time to yeah. get ready for it. And sometimes it just, it don't be like that. I don't know what it wants me to do. Ooh. Yeah! Yeah! Is that enough? Complete. Good. Get me out of here. Now I've got to do Guitar Hero. I've got one fact left before we do reviews, so I'm okay. hoping that you get to compete in at least one event. I just want to see, like, the 2D crowd yes. in the background yeah, and okay. stuff like that. Dressage, is that what you're thinking for the, for the big public event when we're allowed? Yeah, why not? Yeah. Get the horse dancing right out of there. Hopefully we can change our jodhpurs beforehand as well once the train is. Oh, yeah, is. yeah. I love that, like, in order to simulate you being on a horse, the vibration is just constantly on. It is so obnoxious. I wish I could demonstrate it. I could hold it up to the microphone, but I would surely mess up this incredible event. I'm oh, vibrating okay. on the mic. Can you hear that? Yeah, I got that. I got that. It's horrible. <laughs> it's incessant. It's an occupational hazard. The likes of Lucinda Green. I suppose so. Oh, it stopped. Think... Oh, it's back again. Lucinda and her peers are the only people who are still diagnosed with shell shock in this day and age. The mercy of that vibration ending. My, <laughs> my fingers are tingling. It's, it's obscenely powerful. Dressage training complete. I did it. Well done. What's she going to say? I'm very proud. Fast. Oh, no, not agility. Fast. Oh, steady. Fast. The fastest horse. Make Barbara Hawes fast, 2021. <laughs> oh, Your first competitive event. Oh, outfits. Brush. We've unlocked brush. Brush. We can brush horse. Uh, first, though, outfits. Oh, there he is. Oh, <laughs> wow. <laughs> uh, uh. Any ridiculous garish colours? Grey. Everything grey. Excellent. Yeah. What's this? Oh, dressage. Oh, my oh, goodness. Oh, wow. Look at him. Oh, yeah, they do wear stuff like this, don't they? They dress up as Jack the Ripper. They do. For some reason. They're about to do some sort of murders. I don't know what colours yeah. to go for. Grey is not one of them. Maybe green. Double green. He looks like a frog now. <laughs> he does. He looks like that <laughs> outfit you get in RuneScape for finishing that quest. Yeah. Uh, show jumping. This doesn't really matter, does it? But we'll... we'll... We'll flip it up anyway. Red. Oh yeah, that was the thing about jodhpurs is that like you, they quite often come in beige, and in at least one of the games we played in the past, or both of them, they sort of look like they're just not wearing any trousers. Yeah, they're you. sort of flesh-coloured for Caucasian people. Caucasian flesh, yeah. Okay, I think we're. Oh god, the music. Oh. Let's go see Barbara Hawes, and then let's do this event. Let's. Oh yeah, because you need to brush Barbara now if you want to. Can brush. Oh, appearance is not good. Got really. Really mucky. Good horse. You're a good horse. You're a good horse. Brush your horse's coat. Oh my god. Oh, look at all the muck oh, coming off filthy, it. Filthy, Barbara. Filthy. Oh, dusty. Is your horse dusty? What is this doing? Am I improving the appearance? I don't really understand. Surely. Oh, I don't. I just need to hold it in place. My god, how long does this take? Oh. Maybe if I just move it around a little bit, maybe that'll help. I mean, I, I honestly don't care whether you actually succeed in dressage or if you turn up and they go, why is your horse covered in... in <laughs> muck. Muck. Yeah. She's green. She's green now. So that appearance mm. is green. Just like Spectrum is green off of uh, Captain Scarlet. Yes. So that's all that matters to me. Let's go for front gate. Participate in a competitive event. In the end. This is your first three-day event. <laughs> I'm assuming the horse is just in there. In yeah. Yeah. Then cross country, then show oh, we got to do it all. Cross country. Oh, that's fortunate. Dressage is first, so we can play that's that great. and get the hell out of Dodge. Bugger off. Um, there were only two critical reviews on Metacritic for this game, really? but there were two different critical reviews on Moby Games. So I did Ooh. some quick maths okay. and combined them all together for an overall uh, an overall average score for four reviews. Mm. What do you think the average review score for this game was according to Metacritic and Moby Games? I'm going to say it quickly, uh, 55%. Uh, you're bang on. Oh, wow. <laughs> it was like 54.75, so yeah. Look at our frogman go. He's going. The crowd's going wild. He looks right at home in this green field. <laughs> Where is he? There they are, clapping. Just the same three people over and over again. <laughs> this is so crap. Oh, it's really quite an anticlimax. I expected more from this. 
I don't think kids would be any good at this, to be honest. Probably not. Not to say that I am good at it. No, but... Or that I should be good at it, but it's like, the timing's pretty hard on this. Big cherry picker in the background filming you, I think. For Is there? Like a sort of Sunday afternoon BBC Two programme that you sometimes, you t- turn on the TV and it's like <laughs> yeah. just horse racing or ski Sunday. And you're like, oh, okay. You oh. boot up the PS1 instead because it's like, oh, that's terrible. I'm not going to watch that. Yeah. Um, no. Nah. What do you no. think the highest review no. score was? No. It was no. from Gamer no. Dad. Nah. 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 That's got to be perfect, wow. right? Did I miss any? A couple, but... Oh, man, that's a pretty pretty good, though. Pretty spot on. Presentation? They give me penalty. I got more penalties for how I looked <laughs> than than my actual ability. Pretty good uh, pretty good control of your horse there, but you're, you're kind of just a bit ugly, so... What a fixed spot. I don't like his nose. <laughs> so, Gamer Dad is the top review. Gamer Dad was the highest review. What did they give it? They gave it 70%. That is also exactly correct. Oh, my God. Oh, my goodness me. (laughs) And they said, it all comes together, not beautifully. Beautifully. It it all comes together into a value that's almost as majestic as the animals it lets you ride. Oh, beautiful. Gamer Dad loved this game. Oh, Demo are. push 69 right oh, at the top yeah. of that score. Is it low? I'm assuming it's a golf situation, though. I'm learning about competitive horse oh, yeah, racing and competitions as we, I guess as we go. Penalties and stuff, yeah. Oh my god, I get a trophy. Oh, I thought I thought a weird character model was going to hand me a trophy. You got a rosette. What do you think the lowest score was? was well, who from- did the lowest score come from? Je video. Oh, your video. It's always your video, isn't it? It is. They quite often it's always you guys right yeah. at the top. Do you want me to tell you what they said, and then you can? Yeah, guess. yeah. Tell oh, me. We're down to Abbey now. This is it's great. beautiful. Look at this place. I'm just going to go around that jump. There's so much space. Yeah, it's great. Uh, so they. Oh, there's birds and everything. Oh, now we're off. Look at us. Oh, you might we're be in all trouble. Gray. You're not as good. Your horse isn't as well equipped for. Uh, <laughs> these kinds well of... i just i don't know my speed is now 60 your speed so... is good but sometimes it just refuses jumps because it has no trust in you whatsoever <laughs> oh it's being struck by lightning look out oh it's getting it's getting tired come on your video said according to google translate this is uh lucinda green's equestrian challenge never manages to find the right balance between its ambitions of pure simulation and its desire for accessibility to a large audience just a slight hint of this has been translated, isn't it? Uh, <laughs> the lack of challenge in some events and the more than doubtful gameplay in others, combined with a damaging lack of variety, risk leaving budding jockeys unmoved who will prefer to return to their favourite oh, no. series, Alexandra Lederman. Of course, yeah, everyone loves that one. Come on, Barbara Horse, please. If you're in the... Oh. Jump, jump, jump. Everyone. Oh, yes. Into the, Am I meant to... Into the mud. I'm, I'm meant to be in here, I think. You are. Oh, no, you're not. No. Turn around. No, perform a U-turn. Oh, that's a wide turning circle. <laughs> where, do, where do you want me to go? Follow the compass. What? Do, do I run over these people? Oh, can you? Oh, flipping heck. Where am I meant to go? You want me to go back? To the right. Oh, yeah, there. Flip, flipping heck. I hope people struggle with it as much as I did. Yeah, if you approach this at any kind of angle, my horse does not want to do anything (laughs) with it. Come on. Oh, I was really slow. You're yet to knock down a pole, though, on any of your training or in an event, which is pretty good. Yeah, my speed's... My time's not going to be good. Your horse is Uh, asleep, it says. Yeah, it's struggling. It's not going to gallop anymore. It can still go this fast, though, so that's all right. I think Jure Video gave it uh, 30%. 40%. Someone left a train there out there. I know. They were, I jumped over two cars earlier. Yeah. Wow. Imagine if uh, if I got all the all the predictions right. That would be great. Be the first time ever in worst games history. It would. Yeah, we've had a two okay. before, I think, but never a full a full set. Full set. Yeah. All right, come on, horse. 
When it does this, its stamina goes up a little bit, and then I force it to sprint again. <laughs> right, we're six out of nine. Nice. Down there, 69, look. Um, I also brought along a slightly higher low score. Um, yeah. PSM3 magazine gave it 43%. Um, oh, yeah. I thought I'd bring that along purely for this excellent joke that they included. Okay. LGEC, that's L-G-E-C. <laughs> Everyone calls it Elgec in the horse riding gaming world. Um, yeah. Elgec works just, but there's really nay point in playing it. Oh, <laughs> got him. Oh, goodness me. Come on. Come on. Come on. The angle it's making me take this at is ridiculous, but the I've done horse it. is bleeding from its head now. It's fine. The horse is fine. Barbara is fine. We're Ooh. doing this. That's the end. Oh, a light smattering. I like that. I like the outdoor clap sound. He was not happy about that. No. Let's see how that that ended. I'm gonna tumble down the table now. That was a disappointing mm -hmm. ride. Oh, disappointing, disappointing ride. ride. Maybe you need to go back and practice again. Oh, well, thanks, everyone. Remember, you can get Worst Games Ever two whole days early by heading over to uh, patreon.com forward slash team triple jump and signing yourself up to the hot and fresh tier. Um, as well as early Worst Games, you'll get the uh, rewards below that, which is uh, asking questions on the podcast um, and so on. And there's, there's other tiers available too. But there you go. Worst Games Ever available on Friday evenings, um, Sunday for everyone else at 6 p.m. Yep. Absolutely. If you enjoyed this, why not post about it in the Lucinda... What's the name? Uh, I've already forgot. Lucinda Green, is it? Lucinda yeah. Green subreddit. I'm mm. sure there isn't one, but there we are. Make one. Make one. Yeah. With one post. Well, I don't like it when your horse opens its mouth. That's really It's horrid. nice, isn't it? Yeah. Do it again, horse. Um. Oh. Oh. There we go. <laughs> right. right. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.